Let's practice sewing my favorite seam finish, the bias bound seam finish. Now snip and rip a four inch panel of muslin. Now measure, mark, and cut two 10 inch panels of muslin. Make sure that you have two four by 10 inch panels of muslin. Just a little reminder, don't forget to keep the raw edges of each muslin panel perfectly aligned together. If necessary, use a straight pin to keep them together. Now let's locate our one inch seam allowance guide on our machine. Your one inch seam allowance guide is exactly one inch away from your needle at its center position. Line up the raw edges of your seam allowance with the one inch seam allowance guide. Continue sewing your seam. As you get to the end of your seam, carefully backstitch. Now let's iron our sample. Be sure that your iron is on a cotton and steam setting. Place your sample on your ironing table, seam allowance facing up. Separate and smooth the seam allowance open with your fingers. Then press your seam allowance flat and open with the iron. Now turn your sample to the correct side. Be sure to check your sample for any imperfections while ironing. Now let's head back over to our sewing machine. Lay your bias tape flat and open. Lay the raw edge of your seam allowance in the folded crease of the bias tape. Carefully fold and close bias tape on top of seam allowance. Insert sample under the foot, directly in front of the needle. Slowly begin to sew. Now carefully sew along the open edge of the bias tape. Be sure to take your time. Remove your sample from the machine and follow this exact process with the other one inch seam allowance. Now carefully cut your excess bias tape flush with the top of your muslin sample. Now let's iron our sample. If your bias is made of a fabric that easily burns like mine, then flip your sample over and iron it on the opposite side. And now you've practiced and sewn a beautiful bias bound seam finish.